Hey, welcome back everybody. Costa Rica Car Collector here. Today we're going to go over a few th different things. You wouldn't believe I found some cool packs to go through in one of those boxes that I found the other day. And I uh, figured we'd go through that. I found some uh, 88 Fleer basketball. Um, and there's some other goodies inside this box here too. So um, I figured I'd go through some of the good ones here. So I sleeved some of them up. And they're no Michael Jordan. <laughs> Um, but in another video, we may have a surprise coming. So, um, just to give you a hint, I found the Magic Johnson. So it looks like the pack that I got there, some really good color. Um, but the, let me see, centering doesn't look good. It's a nice Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And Akeem Olajuwon. These are some of the better ones that I found. There's a Charles Barkley. Look at that shot, huh? Like, come on, what's up? <laughs> Get all up in there, huh? <laughs> Another Akeem. And uh, check that out, Moises Malone, signed by Atlanta. That was pretty cool, I thought. Chris Mullen, the Warriors. Mark Jackson. And then there's a miscellaneous guys here. Mark Chambers, go through these a little bit faster. There's a Kenny Smith, Joe Dumars, Alex English. Sorry about that, guys, getting you blinded there. Hold on a second there. And Byron Scott. Doc Rivers. And I think that was about it. We had some pretty cool stickers there. A Carl Malone sticker. Aguiar, Aguiar, let me see Aguiar down here, Kevin McHale, and I got another Kevin McHale up here, sticker, guys if anybody wants to trade or sees any of these or has this collection, I'm, these are, man, let's pull out the spud, everybody remember spud, huh, he's like, there's some other really good ones in here too, um, guys I don't ever remember pulling the Jordan out of any of the packs that I bought. Just to flip through the names real quick for you guys. Um, got a bunch of doubles there, so for sure I could let some go. The Spud Webb. Let's pull him out of his sleeve. Let's take a look at the condition there. Those cards are nice. I had him in that box right behind me since 1988. Or not 1988. Not that long, guys. Since about 1998, probably. <laughs> or 2000. I probably picked those up. And we got some nice corners on there. Let's get that to come in there. Some nice cards. Um, guys, I don't know if you know this little trick with the corner. You just take it with your finger. And... I always do this. I just pull a little bit like that. And what it does is perforates or blows out the corner. So when you put the card in there, when you slide it in and it comes over to the edge right there, it just rolls right in there really easy. There's no, um, how you say, damage that goes on. I get that to focus in there on us. Hold on a second. So there's like a little fat edge right there for it to go in on and when you slide the car back in it flattens right back out i mean you can't it doesn't really bother me <laughs> protect your cards a little bit better a little trick there for you guys um i try to do that with any card that you want to have a nice crisp corner on it, especially any card that's old and guys i don't know what's in these packs i'm sure that i searched these and there's probably nothing good left in these but um, I seen a fellow the other day <laughs> from Passes Alive. Check those out. He was opening up a box of those, and I said, Hey, I got some of those packs laying around. I got some more in the box, too. But I figured we'd just open up a couple packs. And that was $4.50 back in the day. That's the best uh, autograph series. Yeah, Pinnacle 96 there. A couple packs of that. I got a 93. That's a Series 1. I don't think that has the G or the Series 1. 
the Select, Dunross. So it looks like I did a lot of baseball card collecting from the 90s up to about 96, 97. These were $2.99 a pack back in the day, guys. Most of these are probably hobby packs, too. Got them most of the time from uh, baseball card sh shops. And uh, 50 cents for a pack of 92 here. So, there's nothing in that 92, we know that, but I thought I'd pull one pack out just to take a look. So, in another video, guys, I'm, I don't want to take too long in the video, but I want to go through here and um, look at how I wrote that down. I got 96 Tops rookies in there. There's the Skybox rookies and Tops Finest. So, there was some good stuff back in here. Um, I did briefly go through, found tons of the rookies, the Kobe's that are supposed to be in here. I think my brother has them. I had like a stack of five still, and they were just in here loose. Um, so I got a lot of the top chrome rookies, but I I pulled out all the good ones already. They're in another box, but I wanted to just briefly show you some of these things. Guys, we're going to go through this box, and maybe we'll go through in another video. Maybe we'll do a live video, or I'm thinking about going live one of these times and um, just showing you guys some of the cards. I got some great cards from... And a lot of stuff I haven't shown yet, so a lot more videos I can make. Remember the, all the hype on Roy Rogers? Just so you remember, guys, that are collecting right now, like hype on Zeon Williams and John Morant and these guys. Um, there was a lot of hype on Roy when he came out, and he was a big flop, just to let you know. There's Carlos Rogers. He was another one. A lot of hype on him, too. Um, you'll see probably a lot of cards in here. Look at that one. I always thought that that was a funny card. Look at that. <laughs> Cadell gets smiling down there in the corner. The San Antonio Spurs team. And uh, there's a good one there, actually. Look at that. Oh. Pump up the jam. Insert Allen Iverson from Hoops. So we'll have to pull that guy out of there. That's not supposed to be in there. And he's got a little problem with the corner. Oops. Something happened there. Well. Probably they're not all perfect in that box. that been sitting around. I got, actually, that box came from Ohio last month, or about two months ago. So, Those are the NBA Tops uh, Stars cards. I think those were out in 96. I got some refractors and some stuff of that. Some good ones somewhere. And, uh, geez, we'll go through this and see if we find anything good in here, you guys, one day. And uh, let's get over to those baseball packs, huh? Everybody's having a good day out there. Move this stuff out of the way here. Got some Skybox Premium. This one was one of my favorite sets, the Skybox Premium, when I was collecting back in the day, too. Some really neat things in here. Get that out of the way. There's those Skybox Premium cards. And look who comes out again. Roy Rogers. <laughs> nice cards. The Kobe's gone. I actually, when I sold a Kobe earlier this year, one of my Kobe's, I actually gave one away as a gift. God, that was really nice. Um, I do that a lot. I actually painted a picture for somebody and gave them the Shaquille O'Neal that I had in my collection. That Shaquille O'Neal went quite up, quite a bit. Um, that's the kind of guy I am. <laughs> Anybody does trades with me, you're going to get hit. Um, just to let you know, let's check what we got, guys. Um, no particular order. We'll flip through real quick because I'm sure that I searched everything out of these packs already. So, and the Danny Darwin. So we can get that focus there nice for us. There we go. Hey, 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 Sanchez. Oil can boy, check that out. <laughs> you can find some of these guys. Probably not many of these guys will remember their names. Dwight Evans, remember him? Steve Decker, Rick Aguilar, or Aguilera. And guys, I always put my cards back in the packs. And it was a great thing. You can see um, these cards have been sitting in a box for a while, too. And we got some pretty good, pretty good condition cards there. So um, 
I don't know why I did that back then, but I'm thinking that that was probably a pretty cool thing I did. And let's check out what's inside this Dunross pack here. See what these cards look like. So hope you guys are enjoying this. Just wanted to show you some of the old cards we used to have. Sterling Hitchcock. There we go. It's Brett Butler. Look at that phone. He's got the brick. Wow, that is awesome. What a shot, huh? Holy smokes, huh? Hey, that's a cool car, guys. <laughs> Let's set that up in the bag. <laughs> Ken Caminiti. B.J. Serhoff. I remember a lot of these guys. James Baldwin. Ramon Martinez. Eric Young. Mark Newfield. Jason Isinghausen. And... Eduardo Alfonso. Let's keep moving here, guys. Get those back in the packs in a second. Let's see what else we got. Let's open up one of these Leaf Limiteds. Nice Andy Pettit. Jeff Bagwell. Check that out. Tim Salmon. I think these were all about the inserts back then. These were probably just uh, mostly stars. Joe Carter. And Kenny Rodriguez. Some pretty cool looking cards. Check the look. Let's take a look at the backs of those. They're pretty cool. Pretty nice looking. Let's see what that 96 selects look like. Here we go. We actually looked at some of these before. Let's get in there. Focus those in there nice for you guys. Marquis Gripson. Grissom. From our Atlanta Braves. Good Gagney. Got a Tim Salmon there, another one. He's very popular. Joe Carter, too, back in the day. Another Ken Caminiti. So these look like they're 96s. And a Danny Eagle. Let's dig in a couple more of these guys. See what we can find in this guy. That is a. 93 Series 1 upper deck. 92 Cy Young winner, Greg Maddox there. Very cool pitcher. These are nice cards. Peter Gammons. Juan Guzman. Felix. Hey. <laughs> well, nothing too exciting in those packs. Let's see what we got in this other leaf. Let's see if we can find something. No, I'm sure we probably left something in one of these things. Manny boy. Hey, look at that. Manny Ramirez. That's a nice one. I love watching him play. Shout out to Haas. Mo Vaughn. Nice one. Barry Bonds. That's a sweet card. Look at that. Mark Grace. And a Craig Biggio. Super cool. You get to see Kevin play this year. His son. And I don't think we opened up a pinnacle. Let's open up a pinnacle here, guys. and see what we got in this. Oh, these are cool. Wow, look at those. Wow. Look for the Diamond Club. These cards were all about the inserts back then. So there's the uh, odds right over there. Check that out. Mosaic. Looks like we got a number. Chance at a diamond and an artist proof. The Z Team. I think I had a couple of those. So let's take a look there. Ryan Sandberg. Hey, Craig. Got a friend there, Craig B. If anybody knows who Craig B is, big Ryan Sandberg. Yeah, Ozzy Smith, check that out. Some nice one, Barry Barnes. Wow, we may have to open up the other pack of Zenith there. Jim Edmonds. Well, there's some great looking cards in here, guys. Andre Dawson from the Marlins, and he was that the last year he was with the Marlins. 
And I think he was a third base coach after that. And I think he's in the head office right now. Wally Joyner. Reggie Sanders. And a sideways Mark Grace card. Well, pretty darn cool cards. Let's dig in that other pack there. You know, you guys are having fun today. And uh, enjoying this. There's an honor roll. Elbert Bell. Wow, look at that. That is a sweet looking card. These are nice cards, guys. Zenith Pinnacle Edition. Um, Zenith Edition from Pinnacle, 1996. So this is like a premium stock, too. These are real thick. Let's see if I can get a sideways shot on that. These are super thick cards, if you have a nice feel. Ryan Kelsko and those bats. Look at that gold shimmer. Pretty cool. Andres Garaga. Sterling Hitchcock, Mark Newell, and geez, I think there's one more. Let's go in and dig in there, and let's, might as well finish these off, guys. I always like to make long videos. If you didn't make it to the end and you flipped through, that's okay. I hope you made it to these ones. These are really pretty. Wow, look at that. It was so good to open up that last pack. There's a Frank Thomas. So cool to go back in packs and see what's inside, huh? Greg Maddox, honor roll. McDowell. So I'm going to have to go look for inserts at these cards because I have a whole bunch of more packs. Uh, Sammy Souza. That's a sweet looking card. Look at that. Joe Carter. Ismael Valdez. And let's see what these are all about. Best. These are probably... Minor leagues. Okay, these are minor league cards. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Homer Bush. Let's see if we find anybody that we know. What is that? You get an. You get an autograph in every pack. I didn't. I probably didn't see the autograph, huh? <laughs> well, that these days you can see the autograph right away. Look at that. So when I was collecting, I was probably just looking for the names. I probably didn't realize there was an autograph in every pack. Or maybe I did, but I left the autograph in there. Who knows what happened there. Yeah, hey, Dimitri Young. So he made it. He played in the bigs. And Jose Valentin, I think he did too. So, uh, geez, guys. I hope you liked that video. Oh, there was another one in there. Now, Raul Banez. So I hope you liked that video. Uh, we got... I mean, it wasn't like we were going to get any hits or anything like that, but I just wanted to show you some cool cards. We've got some actually pretty cool cards back there. Um, I'll have to do another one of these videos, guys. i got a bunch of packs um, and boxes and basketball, football, all kinds of things. Maybe we'll do a mixed bunch, or maybe I'll go and pick some out and uh, do something else like this and see what we find. And I know what i got to do is probably go through some of the uh, boxed-up boxes that I have and try and find the things that I pulled out of these packs to see where these things are and I think I know where these are I think in a baseball box the other day that had some uh, some different looking baseball cards and inserts in them so we'll get to that box and go through that box another day guys Pure Vita stay safe out there sorry we went 18 minutes on this video I thought it was going to be a quick one take care Pure Vita from Costa Rica and thanks for stopping by guys Thomas out